Hey everybody, Scott Sprinter here, DocSports.com. Our NFL preview videos continue with the Seattle Seahawks as we wrap up the NFC West. We've already talked about the Rams, the Cardinals, and the 49ers. Those are all available on my YouTube page if you want to check those out. So Seattle's going to finish up the NFC West, and then we'll move on uh, to our next division. But before we get to Seattle, a real quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com and want to be ready to go when all the major North American sports get underway, you can take advantage of the free $60 account. You click on the link below to get started. You can use those free 60 bucks on anybody's uh, daily packages over at DocSports.com. Some guys doing horse racing, some guys doing uh, soccer, Nicaraguan soccer for that matter. And we do have Chinese Baseball League getting underway this Saturday morning, Taiwan. Uh, it'll be, the games start about 5 a.m. Eastern time or thereabouts uh, for the most part. And again, the games are being played in Taiwan. Uh, but if you're a night owl like me, you will certainly enjoy uh, seeing some professional baseball for the first time in 2020. William Hill, by the way, uh, will be setting lines and taking bets on the Chinese Baseball League. So I'll be involved. I'm going to handicap the heck out of it. Uh, and uh, we'll definitely bring you hopefully some free picks here in the Taiwan Baseball League. So that's all going right now with the Chinese Baseball League getting underway on Saturday morning. And love Dana White. You know what Dana White said, Fight Island. They're talking about proceeding uh, with, their, with their UFC cards. And as you know with me, I handicap the UFC. I've been doing it for years. And when there's a UFC FC card, I will be involved. We'll let you know more about that on Friday's video, which I will post by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. We'll start a new NFC division and we'll talk about what we've got going on as far as handicapping is concerned for the upcoming weekend. Really excited that these things are starting to get back underway and hopefully we'll get baseball, NBA, NASCAR uh, underway sooner rather than later, hopefully by mid-June. So we'll update you on any news that we have between uh, now and Friday on Friday's video. Let's talk about about the Seattle Seahawks as we wrap up the NFC West. Plus 225 in William Hill to win the West. The over-under is 9.5. Minus $1.05 on the over. Minus $1.15 on the under. They had 11 wins last year, uh, which easily topped their 2019 wins total that was posted last summer, which was 8. So they did overachieve, if you will. Uh, Russell Wilson had that MVP type season. If it's not for Lamar Jackson in Baltimore, Russell Wilson was your second best quarterback all regular season long in the NFL. Uh, certainly, in my opinion, uh, Carson was great at running back, but the defense did let them down at times. Listen, they were you know, top six, top seven offensive uh, metrics, uh, the way I like to keep them for the majority of the season, but their defensive, their DVOA uh, was like 18th, you know, second half, second half of the league with their DVOA. So they've got to take care of some issues on the defensive side of the football. Uh, they're, they're basically likely priced out of the Jadavian Clowney sweepstakes. I can't imagine that Clowney is going to accept the offer that Seattle has made that they feel they can afford to make. And they feel he's worth. I think he's going to be moving elsewhere. That's no brain surgery there. Uh, so it was a solid move by re-signing Jerron Reed. I do like that up front on defense, and I think they're going to be fine for the most part in the secondary. Like the offense, defense will be decent. I still think they're middle of the pack, though, in metrics like DVOA when it comes to their uh, defensive side of the football. Here's the thing, though. Their strength of schedule that I give them going into 2020 with their upcoming slate, I, I rate it 128.5. If you look back to where that number, 128.5, would have fit in 2019, it would have been 15th in the league. So it's not overwhelmingly tough. Uh, one of the easier schedules uh, of the four teams in the division, outside of the division. Now, these teams play the same non-divisional teams for the most part. Uh, but again, whether they're home or away obviously makes a difference. So their strength of schedule for Seattle, for me, for 2020, 128.5. That's basically middle of the pack in the NFL. I think what you're going to see out of Seattle is in that 9-10 to 10 win uh, can, uh, finish by the end of the season. I don't think they're going to get more than 10. In fact, I do have them penciled in as 9-7, and seven, which would lead towards the under a little bit. I, I think that it's going to be tough for them to reach anywhere close to the 11 wins that they had last season. They had a lot of things that had to go right offensively because, again, uh, the defensive numbers were not terrific. So I'm going to call for a 9-7 and seven season out of Seattle. And again, they are plus 225 to win the West Division at William Hill if you want to play on or against 
uh, Seattle with the wins total and the odds to win the division. All right, that's going to do it for me for Thursday's video. That'll wrap up the NFC West. We'll jump into another division on Friday. That video will be posted at 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific time. I'm Scott Sprites of DocSports.com. Click on that like button if you like the videos. Be sure to subscribe. We'll talk to you again on Friday morning.